What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and now ever since hearing about swords and exotic swords and how we would be able to use them the way they said I was always in two minds about how they would affect general play of the game as it's basically a leap away from the year one mechanics and action we are used to Hearing that these things would be equipable anywhere at any time for some reason just didn't sit right with me I suppose it's because at the time you had to aim a weapon and fire it to kill and that was basically it but hearing of swords my first thought was everyone will be running around in pvp like a damn blade dancer and it would just turn out into a bigger mess than what it already was pvp wise before the taken king but the way bungie have gone about implementing them into the game in my opinion is absolutely perfect and while playing pvp and being wrecked with a sword i ain't once for a bad thing about it they fit the game more so than I could have ever thought and to be honest I can't see the game without them now. At the moment I only have one of the exotic swords, I've been so damn busy doing other things I seriously just ain't had the time to get the others. The sword I picked in my opinion though was the best, I have played with the other two but for me it's all about the Razor Lighter. For sure the Art Blade is easily the best for PvP but my sword don't see the light of day in PvP. There, in my heavy slot, I always use a launcher or a machine gun. But for PvE, it's a different story. If I'm doing anything on any of my characters and weapons are needed to be switched, to say do strikes, nightfalls or even the raid, my sword is my first pick and the first moves. I don't go anywhere without it. The raid's lighter has gotten me out of so many close calls with its special attack and it's easily the most powerful out of all three sword specials. It's for this very reason I have taken my Ray's Lighter to the highest attack value possible at the moment, that of 320. And this is how much I love this weapon. I actually sacrificed my overall light score infusing it because my max light score was obtained by me using the Touch of Malice where mine's at 318 attack, my 1000 yard stare which is at 314 attack and my Quillum's Terminus Hallowed which is that 320 attack. With all these equipped, I could max out to 314 with the right armors. And although my Hollow Terminus is an amazing weapon, the 320 version I had, I used to help my sword up to that 320. And to be honest, I haven't really lost out as I do have another Hollow Terminus, but this one at a lower attack of 314 but it still does a great job. But yeah, my two favorite exotics in that year two are the Ray's Lighter and the Touch of Malice. These were my prime targets of hitting the highest attack value first. My sword's at that 320 and my Touch of Malice is almost there at 318. But yeah, my Ray's Lighter is my pride and joy and it's the reason I stated that I have maxed it out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do drop a like, I'd appreciate the support. Subscribe for Daily Destiny and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out until next time. Peace. We all on YouTube every damn day Watching these vids of the brand new games Vid after vid, many of y'all the same That's why you gotta go and find DPJ Destiny gameplays, weekly snipes Heavy uploads gonna have you a hype Started in the UK, now he's worldwide DPJ, go and subscribe